After the pH test, we'll be testing for total alkalinity. This test tests how much alkaline material is in the water. Since we want to keep our pH 7.4 to 7.6 in the alkaline range, we need to have alkaline material in the water so that pH stays where it should. So let's test for alkalinity. First, we want to make sure that we get rid of any chlorine that might be in this vial. So number seven is sodium thiosulfate, a chlorine neutralizer. Couple drops swirling around. Then we'll go for number eight, the reagent indicator, five drops. Swirling around. We get a green color, which is appropriate. This is a titration test. So we'll take reagent number nine, drop by drop, until it turns the color from green to red. Four drops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're getting close, 14, 15, and 16. 16 drops, and we have our red color. Each drop indicates 10 parts per million of alkalinity. So we have 160 parts per million alkalinity. That's a little high. Recommended range is between 80 and 120 parts per million. So we'll be creating an acid column, adding some acid, to bring that down.